Welcome to the intro, the Gary Joe Huckleberry Walks South Downs. If you're coming by train, get off at Liss and walk up the River Rother Walk that starts right next to the train station, just across the rails there. And then you come up this way, after about half an hour, you get to here. We go across the forest road at Liss, and this is the car park. Just past the corner, forest road, and here you have hundreds and hundreds of acres of the Ministry of Defence Longmore. This is today's walk. Welcome to number seven, Listen Peace Field, Huckleberry Walk. There are many ways through the Long War. It's got hundreds of walks. You can follow this road and then go to your right until you get to the edge of the fence. You want the eastern side, so the right hand side as you're walking up this way. Along that fence, we'll show you some of Longmore. We're heading north and a bit west just to go to the best parts of Longmore, the MOD land. This way. Oh, bluff. There. So many paths in the long wall. Take a compass or take the uh, outdoor active app or one of the others. I think we go this way. I've been through here so many times. We kind of got, got it in our heads. <laughs> oh, yes, there are cows. Oh, look, there they are. <laughs> They're just like adders best to sing or talk loudly so they know you're coming. Isn't that nice? Now there are lots of roads to follow in the Ministry of Defence land, but we like going into the heath. It's not the best English countryside. Or what? Oh yeah, follow the huckleberry. Every now and again there will be explosives. There are days when there's none. About four or five days a month. Find it online. But of course you will come across your uh, guys practicing. Everywhere you look, there's something lovely to film. And we're gonna walk up there. So we're heading towards Griggs Green and the Deer Hut. Oh, lots of sandy soil. It used to be a beach millions of years ago. And uh, oh yeah, and the radio tower. Brambles and ferns and pine cones on the floor. Nice. Heather. I always thought Heather was in Scotland. You live and learn. Bye. You're by the fence on your right and the explosions are on your left you're in the right direction up here we're looking for the bent up fence case just before 
the corner of the MOD. <laughs> Be careful. And doopy doopy doo. So you can go straight on from where the cyclists have come from, and that will take you to the deer hut. And uh, Griggs Green. But what we want is that gate there. There it is. This way. King Alfred's way up there, and that's where we go. No signpost for it though. Never mind, this way. Very straight on. Down this way. Now the three ways we follow Shipwright's way. Over the bridge. <laughs> Follow the dog. Over the railway. Past the electricity transformer. And up the road. Carry straight on. Ah. Past the sign. You can go that way. But we go this way. That oh, splash of colour always makes me happy. <laughs> Just up here. Just past this barn. Up here. On the left. Alright. There's four ways. There we go. This way. Caution, uneven surface, and by the way. <laughs> Here we are at Chapel Common on the six ways, six paths all come together here. And uh, yeah, we go straight on. This way, past the map of the common. Chapel Common. Over there is Rake, and we go this way. <laughs> On a scale of one to lovely, how fantastic is that? <laughs> Off to the B2070, the old London Road. And we stay in a straight line, heading towards the A2070. Through the only groany bit. Just needs a little bit of effort from everybody. And at this post. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, Serpent Trail. We don't want to get to the 2070 before there's the nice crossing. This way. Of the tree in the middle. Okay. There we go. Off to the right. Through the gate, dog on the lead, across the road. Straight across. To the yeah, busier road than I like to cross usually. But still, we go left. Having paralleled the, the road for a bit, we now go up here to the church and through. Oh. St Luke's, Midland and Rake, Commonwealth Wargraves. This way, through the church, it's low. And just near the little chapel, around the back here, there's some water for doggies. And that's Follow the little dog. <laughs> Ain't that lovely? Oh, so nice. Mm. If only I'd brought beer and a picnic. <laughs> Through here. Turn right. Straight across the two crossroads. And uh, to the bottom of the hangar. The top of the hangar is quite nice with the polo field 
but I prefer the bottom with the nature. Try to cross. And down, down, down the steep stretch. Always best to carry four or five small bottles of water from the fridge or the freezer. Here we go, straight on towards Mr. Barkey. At the bottom, we go left. Down towards Cockerel Farm. Probably not his real name, but I like it because it's got a cockerel. Anyway, down the steps and follow the posts. That post is pointing for this direction. Such beautiful houses, so well kept. And a cat in the window. Straight through the farm buildings and along the uh, outdoor active double dash path. Straight across the, uh, the crossroads. <laughs> The lovely rake hanger. Oh no. Hmm. I wonder what that sign was for. Through the woods. <laughs> yeah, all of the signs. At Canhouse Lane, you turn right towards Rake. After a couple of hundred meters, we go up here. You can go straight along the road, but you know, there's cars and stuff. This way. And at this point, you can go right and the long way, we go left. To get wonderful views, you need a walk. Oh, I suppose you could use a helicopter, but I've got walking. We go this way. At this point, we link up with the main path. Follow the dog. The left here is not marked at all on our map. Well, anyway, right towards Rake. This would be wonderful in autumn when all the flowers are out. You can either go to Nepal to see your rhododendrons We'll come here. And Joe, and Huckleberry, and Gary. And come out onto the same road that we were on before. It's now called Bull Hill. And we go just up a little bit up there to Sandy Lane. <laughs> One of my favourites. Sandy Lane. Oh yeah, it says. Thank you, the people of Lilac Cottage. That's beautiful. This way. And Chestnut Cottage too. <laughs> Follow the Jack Russell. And just past there, we go up towards the main road and V signs. Yeah, you might remember coming down this one. I walked across the London Road towards V signs. Just up there. Take a left. Then rose. There's a bottom. We go left. And right next to Baron's Ponds. There's our path. Ah, oh, good. Thank you, the farmer that's uh, cleared the way. Through here. And we're on the edge of the. Thank you very much to those people who left comments telling me this strange plant is asparagus. And now I have the proof that. A little bunny. Uh, we go through the corner of the field and then along the next one. There's always time to appreciate beautiful flowers. Hmm, ain't that nice? And here, when we get to the road, we do a, a quick left right and then follow the path across the field and then along the edge of the field so kind of in that corner over there and this is maize corn on the cob or oh, corn to americans thank you very much to the incas or possibly the aztecs <laughs> in the corner we go 
across the sty, um, past the yappy dog, playing the ball with the dog. <laughs> Hopefully we'll make way because it's uh, unpopular. And we go. Oh, come out onto this country road. You turn left towards the train crossing. Listen for trains across the level crossing. Hey. Oh, that was cool. That's really good. <laughs> oh, more flowers. What are these guys? Across the road. Down the little country road. Out onto Warren Road. We go left to this forest. I hope you had a lovely walk.